You know, something that always bugs the heck out of me is when you have panels such as this main service panel on my RV, and you got something here with nothing in it. This is actually a switch cover for slide number four, which I don't have. I understand that this is just kind of a, a fits all for all the different models that they have, but it just bugs me that we got this blank panel. So I'm thinking, what can I do to put in here? I'm going to want it to be useful of some sort. So let's pop this little panel off, see what we have. It's just a piece of plastic that fits over the panel, just snaps in. And so we just have a little hole here. I think I'll come up with a great solution for what I can put in there. And actually, I've had this idea in the works for quite a while, even since I've had my Class C. This is a charge monitor. It'll actually just fit right in here perfectly, like that. And I made this just large enough so that it fits over the logo, the legend plate. I have to tell you, that looks pretty good. So what is this? Well, we're measuring the battery as well as the charge condition. And many of you may know a lot of these RVs, and including this one, have something that's called a three-state charger. That means that the charger can output a trickle voltage, a normal voltage, and a bulk voltage, depending on the battery. It's just going to be a set of four LEDs that's just going to tell you what the status is. And this charge monitor is really easy to hook up. You just have positive and negative leads, and that just goes to your power supply. So we're just going to put this in the panel and hook it up. So now that it's all installed, we just turn it on. The green is lit. That shows that the charger is in the normal mode, or absorption mode, as it's called in some cases. So this makes it a convenient way to keep the tabs on the health of your battery, plus what your charger is doing. So where do I get one, you ask? Well, I'm going to show you how to make this thing completely from scratch. And full details of this project is available on my website. And I also have a video dedicated just on building it. So why is it important to monitor what your charger is doing? Well, most chargers are called smart chargers, and they're three-stage. They're either float or sometimes called storage. And in this mode, typically the RV is in storage, and all the battery requires is just a small trickle charge to keep the batteries topped off. The next mode is called absorption, or sometimes called normal. And this is in normal operation of the RV. So the RV is set up boondocking or whatever you're doing, and you're demanding 12-volt power for lights and the fridge, uh, controller board, and those kind of things. And the charger is just putting enough output out to keep up with the discharge of the battery. And then we have a mode called bulk mode. And this can vary a little bit between the different charger types. But typically, that's the fast charge mode. And if a battery is significantly discharged, the charger will typically go into bulk mode for a while to rapidly return the battery to full charge. Now, there's sometimes called a fourth stage, and that is typically called equalization. And in reality, it's just nothing more than a bulk mode that goes into a timed charge about 15 minutes once every 24 hours. So in reality, if a charger is advertising itself as being a fourth stage, it's really not. It's a three-stage with just a timed bulk mode as the fourth stage. So why is it important to monitor all these different voltages? Well, first off, if the charger is going into bulk mode too often, then that means that there could be a bad battery, could be a bad cell. So if you see the charger swapping between normal and bulk quite often, you may have a battery going bad. Also, if you have the RV in storage, and the battery charger is either swapping between float and normal or in normal, that may mean you may have some parasitic loads on your battery that is actually draining the battery more than it should. So you can tell a whole lot about what your battery is doing just by monitoring the smart charger. And the next topic is a battery state of charge. It is also voltage sensitive. For a typical wet cell, for instance, 12.6 volts means it's at about 100% state of charge, fully charged. And 12.4 volts, it's about 75% charged. And 12.2 volts is 50% charged or less. Now one issue is with a deep cycle battery, you never want it to go less than 50% because if you do, that can shorten the life of the battery. So you always really want to charge the battery once it gets down to 50%. Can you remember all those voltages? Well, that's why I built this charge monitor. The LED will actually tell you what a voltage is applied to the battery. 
or when the battery is in discharge mode, what the state of charge is. And there's actually three different ways you can build this. You can build it like I did to go into a panel, or you can add it to a monitor such as this, and this gives you voltage, current, power, and energy, and you can make a more comprehensive voltage monitor for your RV. And in fact, if you want to do that, I did make a front panel template that adds the charge monitor to a cutout that this will fit into. So you can put that in along with this and have essentially the same thing. Or you could get a little box like this and build a monitor and put it inside and then attach a set of battery leads to it. And this could be a standalone version and you can just attach it to your battery whenever you need to. So there are several ways you can actually build this. And so now I'm going to demonstrate on how this charge monitor handles different voltages. And what I'm going to use is just a neat little small adjustable power supply. And you can buy one of these. It's a kit for less than $10, I think. And actually, if you're going to be doing some of this, I'd encourage you to buy something like this because this is going to be a lot easier to adjust with an adjustable power supply. And I'm just powering it with some AA batteries. And again, on my website, I'll give you the source for this. And then when we turn this on, it actually goes through what I like to call a splash screen. It's just a fancy little flash sequence. Of course, we talked about normal mode. If the charger is at the right voltage, it's going to say normal. Let's say you put the RV in storage and then it goes to trickle mode. Well, you see this flashing. Well, whenever it goes from one mode to the next, this will flash for an hour. So after an hour, this will quit flashing and stay on solid. Or if it goes from trickle to normal, the same thing. It'll flash for an hour and stay on solid. And the reason I do that is so if this is switching between these two modes and any of the other modes, you'll know that, you know, this recently went into a different mode. And you can always hit the reset button. And now it'll go on to the solid mode as if it never changed mode. And then if we go into discharge mode, that means we've turned the charger off. So now we're boondocking. If it's on solid, that means the battery is 80% to 100% charged. Between 60% and 80%, it will flash. And then if we go further, if we're less than 60% charged, then it fast flashes. And so just by looking at the behavior of the discharge LED, we can tell relatively the state of charge of the battery. Now let's say we plug this in and we're going back up to bulk, we get a blue light. And now when the bulk charger is over, and let's say this drops back down to the normal mode, we see that both the bulk and the normal light are flashing. The bulk light will flash for 24 hours after it had an event. So let's recap this. Trickle and normal flash for one hour after entering the event. Bulk flashes for 24 hours after leaving the event. And the reason we do that is because if we have a four state charger and we go into bulk mode once every 24 hours, this will tell you if it's done that. So with four LEDs, we can observe at least nine different conditions. And in a sense, this actually has kind of a memory if you think about it. So this is just a cool little gadget that I came up with. And if you want to build one, then uh, go to my website. I have more videos and I have videos specifically on how to construct it bill of materials, documentation package, you know, the whole shot. So